Hi guys and gals, it's John Emily. and Jazz. Yeah. Bye Jazz. Jazz is, <laughs> Jazz is out of here. <laughs> anyway, thank you guys for coming out for Record Store Day last week. That was absolutely amazing. We're a little tired, but our energy is slowly coming back. So thank you. That uh, best day ever yet again. We so appreciate you supporting independent retail. Thank you. Thank you. Seriously. Woo. Everyone, take a bow. You guys, not us. Oh. Not us. You. you. We'll, we'll bow too. Okay. Good. All right. Kicking it off this week. We got a bunch of great new releases. We've got uh, Trombone Shorty lifted his first album in five years and the follow-up to his Blue Note debut. Uh, combines classic New Orleans sounds with modern lyrics, melody, and beats to create something fresh and unique. Part Jimi Hendrix, part James Brown, and all New Orleans. Featuring guest appearances by Lauren Daigle and Gary Clark Jr. Hey. Listen to this right now. So good. Yep. Next up, we have some John Williams guy from Berlin Concert. The history of film music would be very different without John Williams. Cinema classics like Star Wars, <laughs> Indiana Jones, and Harry Potter are inextricably linked with his, with his musical style. His soundtracks captivate listeners with thrilling and moving themes and a tremendous range of atmospheres and sounds. He made his debut with the Berliner Philharmoniker in October 2021 with a series of sold-out concerts and Deutsche Grammophon was there to capture it. 2 LP on 180 gram set with gold foil cover. It's really bougie. It's really bougie. super nice. Thick stock. I like it. Um, so, in the midst of all the Record Store Day chaos, I completely missed a new release solicitation. So, here it is, finally, Aerosmith, The Road Starts Here, Boston 1971, a historic early recording in their rehearsal room. Just the band crew and friends captured on Joe Perry's tape recorder. The never-before-heard performance showcases the early raw talent one year before signing to Columbia Records and two years before their debut, which featured many of these songs, including their enduring anthem, Dream On. Early Aerosmith. Never before heard that in my life. Pink Floyd, Saucer Full of Secrets, the original mono mix in their, of their sophomore album, and the only album to include all five members, has been remastered by James Guthrie, Joel Plant, and Bernie Grumman from the 1968 analog tapes. Very cool. Next up, Nora Jones, Come Away With Me, 20th anniversary edition of Nora's debut, which became a global phenomenon, reaching number one in 20 countries, selling nearly 30 million copies and sweeping the 2003 Grammy Awards with eight wins, including Album of the Year, Record of the Year, Song of the Year, Best New Artist, Best Eyebrows of the Year. Most beautiful yeah. face, most beautiful yeah. voice. I mean, come on, Nora Jones, most give it up. angelic being of all time. Love her so much. Next up, it's Boom! Italian jazz soundtracks at their finest. A compilation exploring the explosion of jazz into the late 50s and 60s. Italian cinema includes rare and previously unreleased tracks from the likes of Marconi, Ortolani, Piccioni, and more. Next up, we've got The Weeknd, Dawn FM on vinyl, finally. The past couple years haven't aged him a bit, of course, haven't aged us at all either, right? His fifth studio album, narrated by Jim Carrey and featuring appearances from Tyler, the creator, Lil Wayne, and Quincy Jones. Next, we have John Five, Sinner. Limited picture disc of the guitar's 13th solo album. Features appearances from Megadeth's Dave Mustaine and Peter and Kisses Peter Chris. It's hard to say Kiss Peter Chris fast. <laughs> uh, next up. Rodrigo E. Gabriela and Cuba, uh, Area 52, contains nine of Rod and Gab's favorite songs from their own catalog, rearranged and reconfigured for a 13-piece Cuban orchestra comprised of some of Havana's finest young players, collectively known as CUBA, pressed on red-blue splatter vinyl. Next up, we've got Hatchy, Giving the World Away. The LC Singer Songwriter sophomore album takes the celestial shimmering shoegaze and pop pop sensibilities of her earlier work, but with the volume knob cranked up tenfold. It's synthed out sonic opulence with traces of 90s trip hop and acid house influences on limited Coke bottle clear with a super shiny sleeve. I like it. Next up, Romstein Zeit. Record-breaking, award-winning, Grammy-nominated, everybody's nominated for Grammy here today, German rockers, pioneers of the new Deutsche Hart genre, and returning with their new album, two LPs, 180-gram vinyl, in a gatefold jacket with gold embossed logo sleeve. That's a thing, too. Large format, 20-page booklet included. So thick. Rammstein. Next up, we've got more Rammstein. Zeit, the Maxi single. Double Stein. 
We have this really cool 10-inch single that includes the album version of the title track with two remixes by Olafur Arnolds and Robot Coach packaged in a gateful jacket. Next up, we've got Earthless Rhythms from a Cosmic Sky, the sophomore album from the Psychedelic Rockers, originally released in 2007. That's 15 years ago, folks. Yeah. And remastered for a limited release and on clear purple splatter wax. It also comes with a bonus 7-inch on purple cherry red wax. Next, we have John Coltrane and Johnny Hartman. This beloved 1963 album on Impulse is a career highlight for both legendary jazz artists. The material is well chosen, including definitive readings of My One and Only Love and Lush Life. Verve Acoustic Sound Series features transfers from analog tapes and remastered on 180 gram vinyl in deluxe capable packaging. Next up, we got Melissa Aldana, 12 Stars. The Brooklyn based Chilean composer and saxophonist joins Blue Note with her debut which grapples with concepts of child-rearing, familial forgiveness, acceptance, and self-love, and was inspired by her interest in tarot. Mm. Next, we have the infamous Stream Dusters, Toward the Fray. Grammy Award-winning bluegrass folk and Americana outfit are releasing their first full-length original album since 2019's Rise Sun. It is the band's first release on Americana Vibes and was recorded at Denver's Mighty Fine Studios and was all written in response and reaction to the events of 2020, which a couple things did happen that year. When they were not Mighty Fine. They were not Mighty Fine. Uh, uh, next up, we got Migos Culture 3, the groundbreaking third installment finale of the blockbuster Culture Trilogy. As a knockout climax, it spotlights their nimble ad-libs, bulletproof bars, head-spinning hooks, and irreplaceable chemistry. And it's stacked with A-list co-stars Cardi B, Drake, future Justin Bieber, Polo G, Youngboy NBA, and the late Juice World, and Pop Smoke, just to name a few. Next up, Jazz is lurking Jazz around. Is <laughs> Following people, great. Uh, Sandre Lerke, Avatars of Love, the latest from the Norwegian pop auteur, with his boldest, most expansive work yet, featuring contributions from Aurora, Mary Lattimore, Chai, and Felicia Douglas of Dirty Projectors fame, limited edition double LP, pressed to cream color vinyl. Nice. Next up, we have the Essential Sun Records, the ultimate collection. Celebrate 70 years of Sun Records with this definitive playlist of timeless American hits. Johnny Cash, I Walk the Line, Perkins, Don't You Step on My Blue Suede Shoes, Dixie Cups, Going to the Chapel of Love, Jerry Lee Lewis's Great Balls of Fire, and so many more Sun Records. Caroline Spence. <laughs> Sorry, True my head's in the way. <laughs> The fourth album headed. from the Nashville-based singer-songwriter, and it showcases her exploration of grief, growth, and the endless complexities of human nature. All right, next we got Mr. Neil Young, official release series volume four. The limited box includes Hawks and Doves, Reactor, This Notes for You, and El Dorado, remastered from the original analog recordings by Bernie Grunman. This also marks the first official vinyl release of El Dorado. If you know, you know. There it is, Mr. Mr. Young. Next, we have some things that will not sound very good if you put it on your turntable. Papa Roach, Ego Trip. They deliver the most diverse... Here, I'm going to move this forward so you okay. all can see it. There you My go, Emily. My arms aren't long enough. Stick your eyeballs out there so you can <laughs> read. There you go. I uh, know. You can, I can read. Uh, okay, okay, good. Uh, they deliver go. their most diverse album yet, bringing together themes of rock, rap, alternative, and pop in a style that is authentically their own on their 11th full-length album. <laughs> All right, next up we have Omar Apollo Ivory, the R&B singer's debut album, crossing genre lines as well as language barriers. The full length showcases even greater musical diversity from the already boundless creator. All in stock now. Uh, we got a bunch of Record Store Day stuff that came back in. Yep. Um, call us, come on in, check it out. Uh, still have a lot of amazing stuff left, as was our intent. So we still got Offspring back there. We got the Ramones back in. We got one of those Handsome Boy Modeling Club. So much good yep. stuff. Uh, come on in this weekend and check it out. Uh, as always, we buy you stuff. So if you have noticed when you got all your Record Store Day stuff home that you're running out of room and you need to get rid of some vinyl, bring it, bring it in. We'll pay cash for it this weekend. And then you can pet Jazz because yeah. you can tell she's lonely up there. Poor Jazz. Yeah. Hey, Jazz. Well, come here. Say goodbye to the people. Come here. Maybe well, not. Here. Maybe not. If there's food involved, if we could like make a oh, I got it. potato chip bag, oh, that's it. That's all we need. <laughs> See you guys. Bye. Bye. <laughs>